Hi guys, it's video time again. It's Andy here from Awesome 3D Prints and I'm here to talk about e-steps, something that's quite often overlooked in a 3D printer. If you're finding you're printing things and the walls are coming out really thin and you've eliminated all things like nozzle blockage and various bits and pieces, or you're printing things moving parts and you find that they're really tight and that they don't quite turn the way they're supposed to, usually that's because you're either over or under extruding. And there's a very simple, very easy fix for that. It's, it can be done in, you know, five or ten minutes of your time and it will improve all of those problems, no ends at all. Now this, I'm doing this on a CR10S, um, however I've done it on my GTEC as well. The, the procedure is the same for almost any Marlin based printer. Uh, my CR10S is slightly modified so it'll look a little bit different to yours but the principle is exactly the same. So we'll go over to the printer and I'll, uh, I'll show you what to do from there. Right, here we are over the control panel of my CR10S, and like I said, my print has been slightly modified. I've replaced the extruder on mine, so the uh, the extruder will look a little different, but again, the principle is exactly the same. It doesn't really matter what extruder you're using, it, it's all the same. Now with the CR10S, you've got your filament sensor, your filament runout sensor. Um, that can get in the way in this. It doesn't really make, just, just pull it off and shift it out of the way whilst you're measuring. It doesn't make any difference in the long run, but I've actually disconnected mine completely. It's, it's off the printer at the moment, because I was doing a, a different um, 3D uh, uh, printed filament runout sensor holder because the one that comes with it is rubbish but we'll do that in another video. Um, first off what you want to do is heat your nozzle to your printing temperature that's that you use for the filament that's in there. In my case it's about 210 for this one because I'm using shiny filament I like it to come out looking quite shiny so crank it up to, to whatever your normal temperature is for your filament. And click OK. Now whilst that's heating, you need a tape measure. So and you need a black marker of some description. Um, and what you need to do is I'll just this is gonna be quite tricky to try and do whilst I'm you know, I'll try and point you in the right direction at the printer. That's it. Now, take out your tape measure. I'll do this in, in millimeters. So you need to find a 12 centimeters or 120 millimeters on your tape measure. Put the end of the tape measure at where the filament enters the extruder. In my case, because I've got that little bit of PTFE tube, I'll measure from there. But And then pull the filament along the tape measure not the easiest thing to do, even with two hands. So, <laughs> oh, there we go. Make a mess whilst I'm at it. Right, and when you've got it measured, mark off the 120 or 12 centimeter mark. So you've got like a visible line on the filament. Then, when your printer is up to temperature, which it is now, and nearly give it a couple more degrees. By the time we look, go into your menu, go down to prepare, go into move axes, then go down to extruder. Now, if you've just turned your printer on, the extruder number will be at zero. If you've done prints like I have, it'll be a different number. That's that's irrelevant though. So move down to one millimeter and need to add 100 onto that one. So mine needs to be 513.4, yours will, be need to, will need to be 100 higher than whatever it is. So dial it in till it gets to where it needs to be. Try not to go past it because sometimes it goes in and it has to come back out and may affect your results. So try and stop it bang on where it needs to be. Also, I should have said, um, raise your Z height up a little bit so it's not flat on the bed otherwise you'll end up getting filament squidged out everywhere. And as you can see now the filament is coming out from there and the mark on the thing here you can see is slowly heading towards the actual printer and that will take a few seconds to extrude the correct amount of filament. Just bear with it. I'll come back to you when it's uh, when it's finished. Right then, now that's done, 
as you can see, or whether you may or may not be able to see, there is the little black mark on the filament. Again, you just make that out on the camera. Take your tape measure again and measure from the end to where the back line stops. And as you can see, mine is bang on the two, which means I've extruded exactly 100 millimeters of filament, which is perfect, which is what you want. If that's the case, you know you haven't got a problem with your E-steps. If you have got a problem with your E-steps, this is what you need to do next. Okay, so now you know what your, how much you are plus or minus on your E-steps. If you go back into your control panel on the machine, go down to control, go down to motion, and then steps in millimeters, you'll see your current E-step value. Now, because I'm running a dual uh, extruder with a three to one ratio, my E-step value is probably gonna be a lot higher than yours unless you've got a similar extruder. Yours will probably be in the range of somewhere between 90 to 100 and something, something like that. Anyway, whatever that value is, write that value down, okay? So you know that, in my case, it's 460 and yours is whatever it needs to be. Then you grab a pen and paper and we'll go over to the bench. Okay, so here we are back at the bench. What you need to do is take your E-steps figure, which you got from your firmware, which in my case was 416, and you need to multiply that by the amount you told it to extrude. So multiply by 100 gives you 41,600 in my case. Um, then what you need to do is when you've got this figure here, you need to divide it by the amount that it actually extruded. So in my case, it's perfect. But let's say in your case, it only extruded 95 millimeters. You were five millimeters short. So if you divide that by 95, it will give you a figure of 437.9 roughly. And that is your new E-step figure. And you need to input that into your firmware settings and save it. So I'll show you how to do that now back over at the printer. Okay, here we are again. So you go into your menu, go down to control, go down to motion, and then into steps, go down to your E-steps, prod your button on that one, change it to your figure that we uh, that we found out was the correct one for your machine, which I think was 437 point, whatever it is. Just scroll all the way through until it's quite a lengthy process. You can do it with the computer and the, and the USB cable, but it's a lot of hassle trying to, especially in my case, because my USB cable doesn't reach from my computer all the way over to my, uh, to my printer, so I have to try and drag things across and move things. It's a right pain, but just keep going through until you get to the right figure. In case I'll set mine back to 416, because I don't want to mess it up. But go through it until you get the right figure. When you're, when you're there, press OK on it. Then this is the important bit. Go back to motion, go back to control, go down to store settings, okay? And press your button on that one and that stores it then. And then that's it. If ever it powers off, you don't lose your settings. If you don't store it and you end up switching your machine off and on again, or you get a power cut or something, it goes back to the default figure and then you lose a lot. All right, back over to the bench. Once you've inputted your new figures and stored them, do the same again. Measure out 120 millimeters of filament and mark it. Tell it to extrude 100, same as in the beginning, and then check to make sure it's correct. It should be spot on. It always works out for me anyway. If not, again, do the calculation, adjust your E-steps a bit more and try it again. But I think you should find first time you should be perfect. Good luck, guys. Thanks for watching my video. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more context, content, subscribe and hit the, uh, the bell icon so you get notified when they're about. Cheers. Take care. Have a good day.